top news headlines from the news desk at the Catanning Paper right now on Radio for Your Neighborhood, AM 1380 and FM 103.7, WTYM, Catanning Ford City. Yeah, my name is Jason Daly. Uh, I'm a subconsultant to Grassroots Solutions, and uh, we were brought in by Borough Council to uh, work with the various commissions and committees, uh, and as well as the departments and the operations within the borough um, on working towards efficiencies, uh, working to find out uh, what some of the projects and programs are that, um, that they're working towards, but also to evaluate uh, their ordinances um, and uh, the effectiveness of their commissions and committees. Um, some of the things that we, we discussed uh, tonight at the Planning Commission meeting uh, really had to do with um, how does that two-way communication function with the Planning Commission and Borough Council. Um, that is a very common problem amongst many local governments uh, out in Pennsylvania. Um, they, they both serve two very distinct roles uh, in, the, you know, in their borough code, um, and sometimes they operate within a vacuum, and, uh, and that's understood. Um, they, both are, you know, they oftentimes meet at different times. They don't have a whole lot of interaction with one another. And, and that was a very common theme that was, that was kind of brought up tonight, was how can we work to improve that relationship? Um, how can this commission work well with more direction from borough council? Uh, understand what the vision is of council that they want to have for the planning commission and then also uh, how can we celebrate the successes that um, that you know whenever a recommendation goes from count from the uh, planning commission to borough council uh, and they start taking small bites at, at, at those apples you know how can we celebrate those successes so that all the hard work that everybody puts towards uh, these these initiatives is recognized, um, and that's that's really one of the things that we're you know, that we talked about tonight. Uh, we also talked about really just you know again looking at um, you know what are some of the opportunities within the uh, subdivision and land uh, development ordinance. Uh, what does the zoning ordinance look like, um, and uh, in, in just in general, what is the role of the planning commission? So we're going to be working on um, you know making sure that we have a packet put together for the next planning commission meeting that uh, will include a copy of um, you know so they all have this in one uh, uh, place for them for their um, reference uh, it'll include a copy of the, um, the, you know, the, the the various ordinances that they refer to often um, it'll include the section of the um, borough code that identifies what the role of the planning commission is and we're going to really work to include um, some training opportunities for uh, commission members they've got a lot of energy they got a lot of really great ideas um, that's sitting on that board right there we really want to try to harness that and, uh, and and have them use the their energy in the best way so it's really Really exciting time to be working with uh, you know, with Catanning, and um, you know, there's there's really good things in store ahead. As they were telling you some of their vision, some of their concerns, um, are they behind the eight ball in front of it? Where where do they stand? I'll tell you, they are leaps and bounds ahead. Um, they they realize what some of the challenges are that they face. They they articulated those challenges. They they discussed some possible solutions. Again, oftentimes when we're working with communities, it, it takes a long time to even get to that point. And um, in this this planning commission, um, they know where they are. They kind of understand you know their you know their place and and. Um, but they also know that they need to get some. They need to get some training. They need to get some direction, and um, and that's a great thing. It really is. They are right where they need to be. Some of the ideas that came up on on some of the things that they're thinking about, um, they're really spot on with where a planning commission needs to be. One last question, and uh, you are working with grassroots to be able to come up with a with a final recommendation plan. Uh, when can we see your results of all the meetings that you've had here in Catanning with our staff? Uh, when is that due and then when is it due back to council? Sure. So, so the uh, early intervention plan is what it was called before. Now it's called strategic management uh, plan, um, and um, and so there's different phases of that plan right now. Uh, I believe right now um, Debbie Grass was just up here this afternoon as well. She was working with the borough manager on um, some projections on piecing together parts of the budget, um, uh, so that we kind of were able to understand some of the reports um, and be able to evaluate the various departments. Um, that's the first part of this. I'm also meeting with the, the various departments and operations uh, while that's going on as well. Um, I would expect that, you know, as we get into the later part of this year, early first quarter of next year, that final report will be coming to, uh, to council and, um, and, you know, along with recommendations.
WTYM, Catanning Fort City, on the radio at AM 1380 and FM 103.7, and online at WTYMRadio.com. Radio, computer, or smartphone. Stay connected to radio for your neighborhood.